the very top. There's our four carriers, uh, represents over 22,000 pounds of hardware, uh, close to 300 line items of uh, diff individual pieces of hardware uh, make up that. Uh, next shot, this is uh, I have a series of three shots here looking at the individual carriers. This is the, our first carrier, it's the slit carrier, it sits at the very top of the payload bay, uh, it's the most forward carrier. It's the all composite carrier. Uh, right in the center of that uh, is a box that uh, sitting on a set of uh, isolators. That's where Whitefield Camera 3 is. It's inside that enclosure sitting under a nice dry nitrogen purge. Below that, there's two white uh, soft enclosures. That's where the two battery modules are. Those are thermal uh, insulating uh, enclosures over there. They're being purged by, uh, by the shuttle's purge circuit 2 air as we speak. There's also some other contingency hardware mounted around the perimeter of that on the, and on the underside of that carrier. Uh, next shot is the uh, ORUC carrier, it sits in the middle. This is our, one of our two workhorse carriers. It's flown on every uh, servicing mission. It was originally a Space Lab pallet. Um, it carries the fine guidance sensor and the uh, cosmic origin spectrograph. The rectangle box at the top, kind of horizontal there, is where the fine guidance sensor is, and the longer, larger um, rectangle box on the bottom is where the cosmic origin spectrograph is. There's also a shelf on the right-hand side that has some of our protective enclosures. There's three other boxes also mounted on the aft and on the forward end. That's where all of our smaller items are stowed, so that's where the rate sensor units, the SIC, or the um, uh, ACS and STIS repair hardware is located. And if you can make it out on the left-hand side, right in the middle, the silver area, that silver uh, box there, that's the IMAX 3D camera. It's sitting there so it can look up at HST when it's berthed on top of the uh, FSS during the servicing missions on orbit. Uh, next shot is our, the two carriers at the bottom of the payload bay. The top one is the flight support system. That's what HST actually will sit on during the servicing mission. There's a round ring in the center that's down in what we call the launch position. It's locked in that position for launch. It will rotate up 90 degrees and, and put it in a position so HST can berth to that. If you have good eyesight, you can see a couple of black and white um, um, tabs sticking up, a series of three of those. Those are the latches will actually close over the, the towel bars on the bottom of HST and mechanically hold HST. This carrier also has the power conditioning uh, system on it, so we take power from the fuel cells of the shuttle and, and bring it into HST so that we can keep HST powered up. That way we don't have to worry about pointing solar rays at sun and charging batteries. We can power HST through the shuttle power. It also gives us the ability to take uh, the power system offline so we can do things like the battery change out so we don't have to power HST all the way down to turn to uh, replace the batteries. Uh, the carrier at the very bottom is the mule carrier. Uh, that's where we have the SIC and DH. It's sitting in a white soft enclosure on the bottom side of that. You really can't see it in this shot. Uh, but when you see it on orbit, it's a, a white um, cloth enclosure. There's also a contingency protective enclosure that has some of our spare hardware in it. There's a spare rate sensor unit there. There's also a spare electronics uh, control unit for the rate sensor system if that, we had a problem with that during the, the testing on orbit. There's also, if you could make out on the right-hand side, three cameras looking at you. Those are the, the RNS cameras. They will be uh, imaging HST during uh, rendezvous and during deploy and processing those images uh, through an onboard computer in the RNS system, uh, calculating an autonomous rendezvous solution for, uh, for future missions. Uh, next shot, uh, well, next is, uh, is a video um, that will run. It uh, goes over the three carriers and also has uh, the door closing. It's uh, like a 45 or uh, uh, 75 uh, second clip, so we can go ahead and roll that. Um, payload bay door closing, uh, it's, um, it is a special event. Um, I think for a customer it represents in our case seven years of working to get our hardware ready for flight. It's also recognizing that, uh, that the next time anybody will see that hardware will be on orbit and ready to support our service emissions. Um, so while that's running, I also wanted to go over and uh, talk the status of our hardware and, and where we are in our preparations for launch on Monday. Uh, some of the closeout activities that we've been doing at the pad, uh, first is our, uh, on the cosmic uh, origin spectrograph, there's been a vacuum pump. It sits inside that instrument, it flies with the instrument, we power it through an external power supply. Uh, that pump has been running for a few years at Goddard ever since the, the hardware got there. 
It ran uh, for the trip down to KSC. It's run for all of our offline.